Hello, fellow humans. My name is Dorothy Laxton, and this is Fostering Untethered Communication and Knowledge, an adventure in stimulating objective, critical thought, shining the spotlight through individual spectacles, putting it once again on the bigger picture and our parts in it. Searching for life beyond the lifestyles we North American urban dwellers have to choose to chase, encouraging all to participate in positive change. Well, it's Wednesday, January 20th, 2021. There's this thing that we forgot. Faith is a fact, and free will is where we choose to put our faith. And in the 20th century, we decided that religious institutions holistically were bad. Institutions holistically are bad. I think Jesus tried to tell us that. I'm going to start talking about Jesus. Not Christ. Not the ideal that we worship. Jesus, the guy who lived the way the word. He showed us institutions in and of themselves are never going to be benevolent masters. We are servants. We don't want to accept that. If we're here to do anything, it is to serve this planet. And what we have done is glutted on it. And we're being left with a chewed up rotten core that in and of itself will regenerate. And it does, regardless of us. Anyway, so we abandon spirituality, spiritual, moral institutions. And we decided to put all of our faith in science, which in and of itself is not as concrete as the average person seems to think it is. A lot of the technology that we use, they've figured out how to make it work, but they, for the most part, really don't know why. And they have absolutely no way of foreseeing. Well, or they do. They can foresee potential risks. And they choose to ignore them. Or minimize them. And we accept that. And we put faith in their judgment. Their not discernment. It's not discernment. We need to start using discernment. The situations that we're in right now prove that people have to stop waiting to be led, insisting that they don't want to be. We make no sense. No, it's not comfortable. I really, you know, Jesus knew that nobody was going to accept it. And he went and he he knew he had a purpose to serve. He had to put truth out there. That was his purpose here. And when he first started out, he's like, don't tell anybody that I did this. Right? Don't tell anybody that it was me. Just tell them that, you know, you can tell them that happened. Well, you know, I think he even told people just, like, just go out into the world and be. And that's the witness to what happened. And instead, you know, people went out and told. And then he was run out of town and he had to go hide on a hill. And flocks, thousands of people would come. And he didn't really want it. But he accepted the fact that it was his. And he started telling truth. Our focus on the material, our material needs, our desires our temptations are what create evil 
us accepting that we are servants of this planet, that we're part of this environment, that, you know, yes, there are hardships that you have to suffer through and struggle through, and you love anyway, and turning the other cheek, saying, hey, wait a second, I know that conflict is not going to be resolved by more conflict. These are the things that Jesus said. And yeah, the only thing that he demonstrably got angry at were the money lenders in the temple. Wealth creation is a fallacy. You can't make wealth. Our pursuit of growth and profit is evil. That is mammon. Not the dollar itself. The dollar is a representation of it. It's a tool. We abuse the tools we create. We allow the tools that we create to become our masters. Just like we, being beings that evolved to a point where we can manipulate the environment. And if you look at what the Aboriginal Australians did with Australia, the way that, you know, the British landed there and went, hey, wait a second, this place looks like a sculpted garden. Because it was. Because they worked in harmony with their environment. And they didn't need to have massive burgeoning populations. They needed to be part of the universe that they're part of. And that's what we need to start doing again. It's hard, it's hard to face the fact that, you know, all of this more, it's not doing us any good. And we have to find a way to redirect. And a lot of these tools we've created can still help us. But we've got to rein it in. We really do. I'm sending this message out with love. Um, and hoping for open minds and hearts to hear. Thank you for listening. <laughs>